Welcome back my clashing friends. Today we're talking about Valkyries. The one and only, the most undervalued troop in Clash of Clans Valkyries. Until really I started playing with this clan, I hadn't seen them much. Um, the reason why I haven't been able to use them myself, I haven't upgraded them. I focused on other things first. Here off the bat, he's bringing in two golems. He brought in those wall breakers way too soon. Always wait on the wall breakers till those outside buildings are cleared, then bring them in so the golems won't take all the brunt too soon. But the key to this factor, we're going to focus on the Valkyries. Here they come, rushing in. They are mad women, seriously, like the Celtic women of old, just pretty much half naked, flying in there, tearing everything apart. Uh, but anyways, look at them go. I'm going to focus on, here there on the middle. Now, it would have been nice to put a heal spell on those Valkyries in the center there. They would have stayed longer. Uh, but then again, he needed them, the heal spells for those uh, hogs as they come in. The hogs, the heels were a little bit too soon. But look, the Valkyries are still up and running even without the heel. They're just about to go down. But by the time the hogs get into the picture, the Valkyries and the golems and the king and wizards do so much damage to this base, it's over. I mean, the, the hogs are just there to just kind of joyride, knocking down things. Uh, so, very impressive. You know, Valkyries, please get your Valkyries up. Even at level one Valkyrie, you know, if you're a Town Hall 8, Start using them. Uh, they're very powerful, very important to use. This next attack, just another Town Hall 9 attack uh, using the Valkyries. Obviously, the defensive heroes um, <laughs> don't stand a chance, but it's still hard to three-star base. But look what he does. Again, please don't drop those wall breakers right away. You want to clear the outside buildings first. That way, it ensures those golems will not die too quickly. Clear the buildings, then bring the wall breakers in. And that way, the troops will kind of go in at the same time with a nice funnel. Here he brings in his queen. He's making sure those Valkyries will funnel towards the center. And he drops them just in time. If he waited too long until those gold storages were down, they would have actually drifted probably to the right-hand side. But he dropped them at the right time. And here they come rushing in. Look at that. Even with a giant bomb on top of them, they're still surviving, still up and running. And just total... Oh, it's just total annihilation. They're so fun to watch uh, because they swing their axes and do, does so much like a splash damage type unit, any buildings surrounding it. And so they'll take out heroes very quickly. They take out town halls quickly uh, because usually the heroes are in the center with the town hall. So when they actually attack, the Valkyries are hitting the town hall and the hero at the same time. And any other structures, like those Teslas, are usually in the center of bases. And that's why the Valkyries have so much power because, um, you know, they just hit all those center buildings, uh, those defensive buildings, and it's just, you know, <laughs> over right when they start attacking. Here, this attack actually was very scary. He would have lost if his king did not stay alive. He wouldn't have had enough time to clear all the structures, but luckily that king stayed alive so he could get some more damage done on some of those buildings to speed up the process. Otherwise, the queen would not have, had, I don't think, had enough time. And again, this extra 30 seconds, without a doubt, made this three star happen. So, uh, see, even weak Town Hall 9s, it's difficult to three star. Mistakes can happen, things can happen. Anyways, there you go. Use that Valkyries, super OP, unit of the game. Build them up, and you will have a lot of fun. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And again, see you next time. And as always, Halo out.